Thank you. Judgment in the appeal Braganza and BP Shipping Limited and another. Mr. Renford Braganza was chief engineer aboard the oil tanker British Unity, which was on a voyage across the Atlantic. Between one o'clock and seven o'clock in the morning of the 11th of May 2009, he disappeared. His contract of employment provided for certain death in service benefits, but it also provided that these were not payable if, in the opinion of his employers, his death had resulted from his own willful act. His employers, BP, decided that the most likely explanation for his disappearance was that he had committed suicide. The trial judge held that they were not entitled to reach that conclusion. The Court of Appeal held that they were. The issue for the Supreme Court was the approach which a court should take in deciding that question. Where a contract provides for a decision to be made by one of the parties, it is not for the court to make that decision for them. But where the decision will affect the rights and obligations of both parties, there is a clear conflict of interest, and the courts seek to ensure that the power is not abused. They do this by implying a term that the power must be exercised in good faith, not arbitrarily or capriciously, and rationally or reasonably, in the sense in which that term is used when reviewing the decisions of public authorities. This means that the decision maker must take into account the relevant considerations and not take into account the irrelevant and must not reach a conclusion which no reasonable decision maker could have reached. All members of the Supreme Court agree that that is the correct approach. However, they disagree about its application to the facts of this case. The majority hold that suicide is such an inherently unlikely act that the employer should not have reached a positive conclusion that Mr. Braganza had committed suicide without there being cogent evidence to support it. The inquiry commissioned by BP had concluded that this was the most likely explanation, but could not rule out an accidental fall overboard. Mr. Braganza did have a good work-related reason to go out on deck that morning. He was due to supervise work on the engines, which required them to be shut down for several hours. Uh, in, and so the weather conditions were crucial that day. There were also no positive indications of suicide. There had been no suicide note, no evidence of suicidal thoughts, no evidence of overwhelming personal or financial pressures, no evidence of psychiatric problems or a depressive personality to set against the inherent improbability of suicide, especially as Mr. Braganza was a devout Roman Catholic. The factors relied upon by the team were at best straws in the wind. The minority take the view that there was sufficient material in those factors, coupled with the improbability of an accidental fall overboard to mean that the decision was not arbitrary, capricious, perverse, or irrational. Accordingly, the appeal is allowed by a majority with the result that Mrs. Braganza's claim to her husband's contractual death benefits succeeds.